Baseball at its best. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Pittsburgh Pirates. The MLB, only on 2K Sports. We get ready for baseball. PNC Park, home of the Pirates, is our location today. He is electric. That describes Jake Peavy. And he's out there on the mound, and we'll have a chance to watch it. Welcome to Major League Baseball. Gary Thorne here with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. 2K Sports in the heart of June. Their starter, Zach Duke. And he gets going against these. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. Any of these. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Yesterday, White Sox picked up the win. In charge here in this series, a chance to sweep 3-0 and if they can get the win against the Pirates. When you want to talk about a team that is white hot, these guys are world beaters right now. I can't remember the last time they lost the ball game. Well, that strike, Zach Duke now in front, 0-2. John, they are playing at a high level, uh, not only because of the Ws, but because of the way they're executing on the field. Yeah, and you throw all the odds out right now. They are definitely the team to beat in baseball. Johnny Damon on a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. That's a hard biting curveball right there with great, great off the top to put in place. One right through. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Duke gets set and delivers. He waved at that breaker and misses. And an 0 1 count. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Fastball got him two down. Well, K Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. And it's Paul Canerco now. Two outs and nobody on. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. Swing and a hot shot. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Now we'll take a quick look at the Pirates and how they're positioned on the field. Steve, keeping an eye on anyone? Well, they're expecting solid defense from Aki Uemura, a guy who converted from third base to second base. He has that alligator skin glove out there, the only one in the major leagues. Hot shot towards the hole, and Quentin's got himself a base hit. Now well, breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far, let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Two down, runners at first and second. Duke gets set and delivers. Grounder, LaRoche. And he will be tagged out on a play he probably is going to define as bonehead. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. So the first chance for the Pirates coming right up. And uh, we'll get to see Jake Peavy pitching. He's going to start for Chicago. John, as he faces this Pittsburgh lineup today, uh, what's on his mind? Well, coming off an injury-filled season of 2009, Jake Peavy's going to look to rebound. He has a fastball in the mid to upper 90s that he throws from a three-quarter delivery of great... Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And the leadoff man of this ball game's on board. We'll see if they get it started early. Second baseman. Number three, Akinori Iwamura. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. Catcher can't control it. And the throw, easily safe at second. So they can't make the play. But Gary, to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Nope, that one not in there. PV missing. Good spot there. Just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. Comes back with one in there at the knees, and it's two and one. 
I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. He's ready. 2-2 on the way. A line drive towards short. And that'll retire Iwamura. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. One out with a runner at third. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Jones watches it low. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that one, swung the bat well. And Peavy with a 1-0 delivery. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And here's the first run of the ball game. They jump out to the lead. And it's Ryan Domit in the box now. And as Steve, they've got the edge right now. They're getting some big runs at an important part of the game. Trying to salt it away early. Well, they've staked out an early. This one's grounded to second. Beckham throws to first side is retired. Nice way to get things started. The Pirates lead one to nothing. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Alex Rios. Duke gets set and delivers. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 and 1. The pitch. A smash to first. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. State Farm with a look at the staffs who are piling up K's over the last 10. The D-backs, number one. Second, the Brewers. Third, the Pirates. Fourth, the Braves. And at number five, it's the Cubs. Well, these staffs can really throw the heat. They can get the swings and misses, and those strikeouts can become back up the middle. It's picked up, and there's one, and two, double play. And the batter's box, it's Tian, and one of the top ten averages right now. Swung on, hit in the air to right center, and Church is going to play it, and he's there to retire the side. No strikeouts, but to talk about confidence, Four pitches, three batters gone. Pirates not letting this lead go. Well, it is great to be here. Night game, PNC Park. Glad you're with us. And Millage is batting. Nope, that one not in there. Peavy missing. Here's the delivery. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He's normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. Headed for the middle, Peavy. And he'll take it himself, puts the tag on for the out. Well, sometimes it's about the fundamentals. Sometimes, though, it's about a flare from the dramatic. Well, good, solid, fundamental, flary baseball, huh? It's LaRoche at the plate. Two outs, space is empty. Strike Called strike, and PB's got him on one. Pitch on the way. Good eye by Andy LaRoche. He lays off that one. We're even. A solid 357 lifetime off the White Sox. The 2-1 pitch. 2-1 delivery of fastball. Taken for a call. Strike two. Now if you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. 
And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off. Only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. And Jim Tomey to lead it off. Jim Tomey. Ball lifted high in the air, deep down the right field line. Gone! That's a dinger. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Well, he looked like he got the pitch in his wheelhouse and he just drove it out of the ballpark. When you get behind in a ball game, you want to get back early, get your get your mental set back, and they've done that. Now this inning isn't over yet. They have a chance to still tack on some more runs. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. No outs and nobody on base. First pitch on the way to Damon. Duke getting the swing. It's 0-1. And you know the, the manager likes to see this game, uh, especially with a great bat at bat like we just saw. Well, I, I mean, and the message in the dugout for the manager is take advantage of the opportunities. When you get a shot, capitalize on it, and that's what they're doing. Straight away left. The plate. And it's got by Millage. And late in the first half of the season now, here's how the race is shaping up in the Central Division. We see it on our State Farm standings board. First place, the Cubs. The Reds, second place. Brewers in third place. In the fourth spot, the Cardinals. The Pirates, fifth. And wrapping up the list, the Astros. Now it's been a real struggle again in Pittsburgh. Uh, once again, that push to the back of the pack, and it's going to take some time for this management team to get this team going again. The 1 1. Wings for a strike on the fastball. It'll be a 1 2 count. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by. He makes contact, line drive, and he cannot cut it off. This one rolls through to the wall. And he ends up at second. That's a double. First base, number 14, Paul Benerko. And maybe he wanted to waste that pitch. It just didn't get far enough away or up high. Well, it just it was still caught a little too much of the plate, and the batter took advantage of it. Good focus at the plate. And here's Paul Konerko. He's the league leader in ribbies. Sedeno. And Konerko retired. And now we've got a moment to see how the Pirates are doing this year, rank-wise in the National League. Sixth in strikeouts, seventh in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they're in the top ten in hits, an offense that can at least put the ball in play and find a way to get runners on base. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's number one in runs scored in the league. And it goes foul. Hit hard to second. Okay. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. Tie ball game here in Pittsburgh. And we're going to see Pierce here. First base, number 51, Steve Pierce. Cutter just misses, 1-0. and oh. Oh. It's fouled away. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Slider can't find the zone. Two and one. Strike two one pitches a slider taken for a call. Strike two. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one and he gets in for the strike. That one is hit well. Clinton's there. So Pierce is set down. One away. Shortstop. Number 13. Now we're going to see Sedano here. The last game broke that hitless streak. Had a four-game hitless streak. Finally got up on the board with a base hit. Oh. 
They set up away. Cutter misses. 1 0. Now Przinski positions himself. Strike one. PV evens the count. Even with the late movement on the cut fastball, you don't want to throw it up in the zone because a hitter can fight it off and muscle it over the infielders. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. And that'll set down Sedano. Two down here in the inning. Don't talk about settling in. How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. The first pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And that one is in there, his second hit today. And that's going to bring Akinori Iwamura up. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball. He's running, heading for second. And he is safe at second. And Peavy with a 1-0 delivery. There is a swing and a liner. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Solid outing moves on here. Jake Peavy. Dan Beckham's in the box. He'll dig in. Start of the fourth inning. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. Duke gets set and delivers. Towards center field. And McCutcheon gloves that one. That's one away. Now the State Farm leaderboard shows us some lineups that have really gotten into the swing of things during the past 10 games. The White Sox number one, second the Yankees, in third the Rangers, the Twins fourth, and number five the Indians rounded out. Well some tough lineups right here to pitch against because a lot of power threats throughout the course of these lineups and they look for a pitch they can drive and when they get it they can take you deep. Grounder, LaRoche. So Rios is set down. Oh, nice play out there. Quick release by the third baseman, able to get the runner out at first. It's going to be Przinski, one of the best batting averages in the league. Here's the first pitch. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. No balls. One strike. Here's Duke. And that's a strike. A.J. Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. I see the bit over match last game out. He's striking out three times in that one. So he's hoping to make a little more contact here. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. No scoring here ending this half inning. We still have a tie here in Pittsburgh. Yes, John Russell looking on. And he knows it starts with great pitching. Happy with the last inning on the mound. Now looking for the offense. And we've got Jones batting. And here's the first one. Strike. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. On the way. Foul. Fouled off. Ground ball to short, fielded by Ramirez, and Jones set down. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that throw. Well, you have to have great body control to play this game, and he certainly sewed it there. And he got him. And it's Ryan Domit in the box now. Ground out victim last time through. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Swing and ooh, look out. Line drive that shatters the bat. And Millage is batting. He bounced out his last time. And the first pitch. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0 oh, 1. It's hit foul by Millage. On the ground to second. Beckham throws to first in time. That's three down. Three up, three down for Jake Beebe. 
And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And here's Mark Tian. Great season, top 10 in RBIs. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Duke getting the swing. It's 0-1. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Passes up a ball this time and swings for a strike that's in the dirt. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out one away. You know, sometimes in the back, you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively, strikes him out on three pitches. Base is empty, one out. Here's the pitch. Uh, and he can't catch up with that one. 0 and 1. How's he doing? Well, lifetime. 307 off the Pirates. And that's a strike. Tome is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Hit one out of the ballpark last time out. Look for him to have some momentum coming into this game now. Feeling good about himself. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a cake. And it's Johnny Damon now. Right there in the top five in home runs. First pitch on the way to Damon. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. No balls. One strike. Here's Duke. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here. He's struggling right now. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Tie ball game here in Pittsburgh. Off the bottom of the so Ryan Church leads it off. Grounded out last time. Number 24, Ryan Church. Church gets set. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed. Peavy getting it by. Here's the delivery. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And he puts that one away. One down. And late in the first half of the season now, here's how the race is shaping up in the Central Division. We see it on our State Farm standings board. First place, the White Sox. Twins in the second spot. Third, the Royals. Tigers in fourth place. And down at the bottom, the Cleveland Indians. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. LaRoche stays off. It's a strike. One for four in his career against Peavy. And here's the pitch. Ground ball towards the second baseman. And that'll retire LaRoche. Oh, it's a nice play right there. Great effort by the second baseman to get over, make the play, and a nice accurate throw to first. Now the first pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And that one falls in there for a single. So that brings Ronnie Cedeno to the plate. Well, you got to love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now it's up to his teammates figure out a way to get him across the plate. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. And the side's retired. Damon catches it as he heads in. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. And no doubt happy with the last inning on the mound. Alexi. Now that focus is going to be on some good ABs. Duke gets set and delivers. A swing and a miss. Ramirez, strike one. Eight for 23 lifetime off the Pirates. Well, that strikes Zach Duke now in front, 0 and 2. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. You got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If you can get it with the strikeout, you'll take that, too. And here's Paul Canerco. 
while leading the league in home runs. Taps this one foul to the right. Well, that strikes Zach Duke now in front 0 and 2. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there. He just throws that fastball right by him up in the zone. You're out. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. Boy, uh, those strikeouts so important coming late in the ball game keeps that confidence up. Well, they tell you that strikeouts add to the pitch count, but a three-pitch strikeout right there, he can go forever on that one. And it's Carlos Quinn. Line shot into center field. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he sees. Smash towards the hole. Now Tremendous situation now, now for the White Sox. Oh, this is great patience at the plate. He lets the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way, as he just did. Duke gets set and delivers. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. I saw the last game he delivered in the clutch with three RBIs in that one. A big part of their offensive contribution. He got him. That's nine K's now. And so Zach Duke. He heads in. Working a little domination here today. He has nine strikeouts. McCutcheon into the batter's box. Center fielder. Number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's the first pitch. Call it strike, and PB's got him 0-1. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. So with nobody out, he's aboard at second after that double. But just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. Fresh count, Iwamura, here it is. Looked like a cutter that time for a called strike. Here's the 0-1 from Beebe. That one misses, it gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sits. Towards the middle, Beebe. And that'll retire Iwamura. Our State Farm leaderboard, teams who have great control, not walking people. The White Sox, number one. The Royals in second. Third, the Mariners. The Rays, fourth. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. Swing and a shot to third. And Jones sat down. Number 41. Ryan Domit can really swing the bat. I like him here, Gary. This is a tough situation. Lifetime, one for three off Jake Peavy. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. On the ground to first. Ben Erico makes a nice defensive play. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. 0 for 2 thus far. A.J. Krasinski. And the first pitch. Duke getting the swing. It's 0-1. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Got him. Strikeout number 10 today. You know, fastball in the high 80s isn't overpowering, but it's not always about velocity. Sometimes it's about location. He knows how to use that fastball. Here's the deliver. Hit up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. And that'll set down Tian. Uh, you talk about a friend in need. They team up and get the out. Wow. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swung on. That is hit. 
And that is in there, the go-ahead run on base. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners, this lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient, they let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Duke getting the swing, it's 0-1. He needed to get that first strike in there, put the hitter on the defensive, and now he can be aggressive in the strike zone. Throw over to second base, a force to retire the side. No runs. And it's Lasting's Millage now to lead it off. Grounded out his last time. And the first pitch. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement, down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Tried to get him to go after the slider, one and one. Well, this would be a perfect pitch if it stayed in the zone. This slider just slid right out of the zone, just off the bottom outside corner. All right, grounded a short. And Millage is retired. And Brian Church standing in. 0 for 2 thus far. Church gets set. Here's the first pitch. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That's the second out of the inning. It's LaRoche at the plate. Grounded out his last time through. Base is empty with two outs. That's a strike. PB gets it by him. Well, you throw that breaking pitch up and in, it's dangerous because a lot of times the hitter will open up giving on the pitch. That's the one pitch he has left to hit, but he got away with one there. And there's Quentin. We're out number three. In, out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. Tie ball game here in Pittsburgh. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Try it again here, just one for three thus far. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Duke getting the swing, it's 0 1. And it's 0 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter who's got to walk away almost before he even got there. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. It's up against the wall on a bounce. Now batting. With a, well, a good White job Sox. right there getting on right base here with one away. Standing on second Carlos base. Carlos now Carlos. a single will score him. Here's Carlos Quinton. A great opportunity for him and the Sox. Man on second, one away. First pitch to Quinton. Curveball too far inside, a little hot to get out of the way. Well, he knew exactly what he was doing, throwing it that far in on the plate, backing the hitter off. Now he's set up to go away again. Well, there is one down here. You got a man on second base, going to give up the uh, pass, maybe try for two. Uh, a hit here scores the man on second, so obviously they're going to look for the double play now. Here is the opportunity for the youngster, Gordon Beckham. He's got a chance, a great chance here. Duke gets set and delivers. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. Got him. That is strikeout number 12. Well, that's a huge out right there. Now with two down, they've got a legitimate chance of getting out of this inning with the game still tied. And he starts Rios out. 
He's hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. Well, that strike, Zach Duke now in front, 0 and 2. Now two strikes on the hitter. They're a strike away from getting out of this jam with the game still tied. Swing and a line drive. And he gets that one down, his second hit, two for four today. On tap for the Pirates, the Chicago series ends tonight. They'll kick off a series with division rivals, the Cleveland Indians. Boy, have they been rolling. That's a three-game series. And it's on the road to take on the Rangers and uh, one of the game's leading hitters, Josh Hamilton. That's a team that's been really putting it all together lately. First pitch on the way. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. It's important for that pitcher to get the first strike in there. Now he can go in a number of different directions. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Now two strikes on the hitter. They're a strike away from getting out of this jam with the game still top. He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. So they pick up two hits in the inning, but leave the and we're going to see Pierce here. He'll start things off. Bottom half, eighth inning. 51, Steve Pierce. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement, down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Here's the pitch. Gets him to commit to that pitch, and he's down 0-2. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Slider called third strike on number one. That's quite a break for having thrown that pitch at 86 miles per hour. This came in high and tight, and I think it fooled him a little bit. Those pitches tend to buckle the knees a little bit. It uh, looks like the umpires are going to give the uh, pitcher those inside strikes today. And that's not going to be good news for the hitters. Called strike, and PB's got him on one. A oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count, 0 and 2. And it holds at 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, slider, two down. Well, the slider is his go-to pitch, and it's not surprising. You can see why. Two strikeouts in a row on that hard-breaking, nasty slider. First pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. Peavy getting it by. Here's the pitch. That's a strike. It'll take the count to 0-2. Andrew McCutcheon now. We'll have to be careful not to get K'd here. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a Major League pitcher. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. Manager's face. That's John Russell. And at this point, every move is critical. He hasn't got any margin for error. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Duke getting the swing. It's 0 1. And he leaves that one alone. Mark Tian shows patience to even it. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. Oh, he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two. Someone explained to me how you swing late on a changeup. Unbelievable. Wow. Lines this one to the left side out of play. Struck him out, and that makes 14 in this game. Well, the velocity getting up to about 89 miles per hour, but pretty straight pitch right there. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. Well, he just pulled the string on that pitch, and that's good, good stuff right there. Good pitch as he's late on that one, 0-1. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Struck him out. That's 15 Ks. 
but he just drops that one in there. Good break on it, 83 miles per hour. Johnny Damon looking to light things up here right now, Gary. Well, we're in the top half of the last inning. This ball game tied up, so the potential go-ahead is up there. Now, this is what you're playing for. You can throw all the scouting reports, everything out the door. It's one against one who can win it. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, right there, there's a lot of indecision. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. This one fielded by Millage. That'll do it as they put that one away. So one, two, three inning for Zach. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. Very tight game here in the ninth inning. He's doing everything he can to make sure they do not lose this game. They need extra innings to win it. That's a strike. PB gets it by him. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. And it's 0-2. Akinori Iwamura, he'll be swinging if it's close. Pitch on the way. Akinori Iwamura swinging right through that one. Strike three. Well, you take a look at the pitch sequence right there. Three straight quality strikes. Well, tight games like this, uh, you get going late. You love to get these outs as quickly as you can. Well, quickly and efficiently, and the best way to do it is a strikeout. No room for error right there. Gets the big one on three pitches. And he's on the potential winning run. Get ready. Number 41. He is going to come into the ball game now and run. But Gary, I don't understand moves like this. I mean, you're taking a guy off your bench, getting him in the game, and now he's not available later for another opportunity. Just doesn't make any sense. He's not nearly the kind of runner for the guy he went in for. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Here's the delivery. There's a swing and a line drive. And it's caught by Ramirez. And they'll hold him at first base. Well, this ball's tattooed. It's flying off the bat, and the shortstop was right there to glove it for the out. First pitch on the ground to third. Tian throws on to first side, is retired. And Jake Peavy is heading in and tied up. Taking an accounting of this game, John Russell. He's counting on getting to the next inning. Pitching choice is critical here. The first pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Got him. He's set down 16 on K's. Well, a good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. Duke gets set and delivers. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. A swing. A ball hit high. Deep into right field. And gone. A home run. That could be the game winner. Now, oh, Gary, this is the second home run they've hit off him in this game. So when he gets the ball up and makes a mistake, they hit it out. He's got to be thinking about exactly what he threw in those cases and maybe change it up a little. Now, clearly to those guys, he's going to have to do it. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Steve, there are clutch hits, and you there's a smash and towards the hole. And Pierce gloves that one. And Beckham's in the box. Struck out swinging last time. First pitch, here it comes. Duke got him to swing. It's 0-1. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Off the wall, left center. And here are the teams with the most extra base knocks around the league, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Red Sox, second. The Blue Jays, third. Yankees, fourth. And fifth best, the A's. Well, a lot of people think that power is just hitting home runs. 
but this team dispels that myth. They're not just trying to hit a single the other way. They're trying to drive something the other way and down the line or in a gap for extra base. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run, and that gives them the lead. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Looking ahead, 6 7 8. They're due up. And Ryan Church standing in. 0 for 3 to this point. Number 24, Ryan. Church gets set. Here's the first pitch. Fastball runs inside, 1 0. And Peavy with a 1-0 delivery. Back up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. And that'll retire Church. It's LaRoche at the plate. Last time up, flew out. Foul strike. And Peavy's got him on one. I don't think you like that call very much, but the reality is... He couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. That's a strike, and it'll take the count to 0-2. Andy LaRoche now is going to have to hit from behind here. Here it comes. Big swing and a miss for Andy LaRoche. Strike three, send him back. Let's take another look at that pitch. It's a two-seam fastball in KK. Here. Two straight fastballs he still couldn't catch up with. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And the first pitch. Here's a fly ball. Could be it. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Well, they get a man on here with two outs. And now a double in the gap can tie this game. And here's the first one. And that's a fly ball. That could do it. Rios will field. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. Well, they picked up a big run in the final inning, Gary, and then held the lead. And the visiting team going home happy. Now we've got highlights to show you. We award our Pepsi Clutch performer a terrific mound game, the work of Jake Peavy. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. And they didn't have to score a lot of runs to do it. They end up with just managing two across the plate, but the pitching held up. Well, a very close game and solid pitching and outstanding defense as well. Those little things become the key in close games. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.